Hello everyone, I'm Mark Texera. This is Augustine's Cooking at Home. Today we have a um, really fun episode. Um, something very simple um, that uh, my grandmother used to make me. Um, some escarole and beans. Um, when we used to go over during the winter or um, even in the summer, she would uh, just shovel the snow or cut her grass. Um, she would always prepare this as like a light lunch. Um, it's super filling um, protein with the beans. You have your uh, escarole that would give you all the nutrients and um, just a nice country piece of bread toasted with a little bit of garlic rubbed on it. Um, it was just such a nice, soothing, um, fulfilling lunch that uh, it just brings back so many memories when people cook it or when I smell it being cooked. Um, today we're gonna do a little something different. I have um, a slab of bacon here um, that I get um, smoked from a guy in Bronxville, New York. It's, it's a wonderful product. All right, um, really nicely smoked and it's gonna add such a nice little flavor to it. Um, we're just gonna cut that into strips. Now obviously you don't have to add the bacon. Um, I like adding bacon to greens when I cook them. I just really like the flavor of it, the smokiness, the fattiness and the smokiness. All right. So <clears throat> the ingredients really for this dish are garlic, onions, bacon, and white beans. Um, I have a pan on here. I started it a little while ago. It's nice and hot. I'm going to add a little bit of oil. I'm gonna add some onions that I've diced. I'm gonna add the bacon and start to cook those together. Start to render that fat out, okay? Start to caramelize the onions and caramelize the bacon. Finish that. Now, we're gonna take some of our garlic here. Just mash it down. We're not gonna overthink this recipe too much. Um, this is one of those cucina povre or pork kitchen recipes um, that really don't need too much to make it delicious. Um, all right, throw that in there. I'm gonna give it a stir. The smell of onions and bacon is just so perviating in the kitchen. Such a great smell. Um, all right, so here I have about two heads of escarole that I've taken and cleaned. All right, I've just uh, taken the head off, rinsed it under some water, and I'm just gonna rough chop it. Don't chop it too, too thin, um, because then it'll just be strips of escarole once it wilts. So you kinda wanna make it nice and big. Now we're gonna start to throw that in there. Okay. Now I rinsed it, I didn't dry it or anything. I want the extra moisture is gonna help to start the wilting process. All right. As always, I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper as we go. Um, just make sure that everything is always seasoned properly. Again, you think of it as like building a house you want to make sure that all the floors are fastened, secured. Same thing with seasoning. You want to make sure that all the, the layers of the seasoning are, are there. Right. Okay, now we got that in there. Just going to give it a stir.
Okay. Put down our board. Put down our knife. Okay. So we have our S scroll. We have our beans here. And we're gonna add those in there. Okay, we've included the bean water as well. I always make sure to save the bean water. All right. Give that a stir. Okay, already it's such has such a great look to it. Um, it's starting to wilt. I have my chicken stock here. And I have a little chicken stock. I'm just gonna add a little bit and let it cook down and then gauge where it's at with the liquid. If I need any more, I don't wanna make it too liquidy. It's not a soup, but I do wanna get enough liquid in there where it's, we could put it over a nice piece of bread and it'll soak up all that beautiful uh, broth. All right, I'm gonna move this over here. Now I'm gonna get my pan nice and ready. And we're gonna to toast some of this bread and make some garlic bread. All right. So I have a skillet here. I've just heated it up. It's heating up now. I'm gonna add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Now this is a beautiful way of making garlic bread. Um, So then cut that in half. We're just gonna toast this in the uh, pan for a little bit. And then we're just gonna rub some garlic on it um, and a little bit of salt, garlic, and that's it. Just adds that beautiful garlicness without being too overbearing. Um, it's not like a, uh, a traditional, what you think of garlic bread. All right. Okay, we wanna push those down. All right, we want to get this. All right, this is going to come up to a boil. We're going to get this going. We're going to clean up a little bit and we'll be right back. All right, welcome back everybody. We're making escarole and beans. Um, so <clears throat> this, like I said, is a food my grandmother used to make, um, you know, when we used to go over and shovel snow, cut the grass, um, kind of give us our lunch um, as kids kind of really didn't understand what we were getting here, you know, uh, when she served it to us. But as we grew older and especially as um, I became, you know, professional chef, I really understood what this meant and um, what how comforting it was to me, you know, and it's kind of one of those things that you miss um, when your grandmother's not around anymore, you know, that smell in the kitchen and, and everything. Um, all right, so what she used to do is she used to get some bread and my grandmother would have hordes of bread around, uh, you know, a typical uh, World War II survivor always, always had bread around just in case uh, anything ever happened, she would have bread. Um, so she would toast her bread and then just give it a little rub with garlic, okay? What it does is it kind of just adds the heat, um, the uh, crusty bread, the heat, um, it'll, start to um, crush the garlic on top and release its flavor. And you have this like perviation of garlic in it. We're just gonna throw a little bit of salt on it. Okay. And that olive oil is really just sucked in there and just made it a beautiful piece of toasted bread. All right, so we've had this on for about 20 minutes. Um, again, really simple. Don't overthink this. Um, salt, pepper. Uh, red pepper flakes, if you have them. Um, beans, well, bean water, little chicken stock. If you don't want to use chicken stock and you don't want to use the bacon, you just do it straight vegetarian um, with bean water. Um, and we're just going to put it over and finish it with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Right. So here we go. And again, we're not, we didn't make it too um, watery. Okay. There is, a, there is a fair amount of water in here, but it's not overly watery. We didn't want to make it a soup. Um, all right, it just smells wonderful. Now with that addition of bacon, again, something you can omit if you don't want it. 
I love it. I just love the smell. Um, this is an aggressively smoked bacon, um, so it just perviates in there with that smokiness. We're just gonna add a little bit of olive oil to this. Okay. We're gonna put a little fresh Parmigiano Reggiano. Again, try to avoid anything that's in a powder shaker. All right, oh, this is beautiful. This just takes me back to like those snowy days or uh, days in the fall when the wind starts changing and leaves start smelling and you go in and your grandmother's cooking this. It's nothing better than this. It's just so refreshing. It's like penicillin for the soul. Um, that's our dish today. Escarole beans bacon on crostini. Thank you for joining us and look forward to cooking with you again. I'm Mark Texera. This is Augustine's Cooking at Home.